Last Hurrah Garage. Today is a momentous day in the fact that it's been a year and four months since this engine was on the dyno and we are going to, having installed it in the car with all the systems connected, we are going to fire it off. This will be the first time in that year and four months. So we are ready to uncover the carburetors and put the power to the uh, system and uh, squirt a little fuel in it and see if she pops. Not a rod, but runs. <laughs> Bob, there's a razor blade right there by that yellow piece of paper on the yeah, yeah. workbench. Okay. What we've done is just uncover the four 97 carburetors. These are modern, new uh, Stromberg 97s and the way I asked for the motor to be built was to be fairly soft and that meaning that we're only running on the two center carbs and not the two end carbs so that's why we only have the two center carbs uncovered we have the two end carbs front and rear we have them blocked off purposefully so they can't pull air or pull fuel into the motor and uh, we're thinking that's going to make it a lot more low-key and tractable there's nothing uh, high compression hot rod about the motor other than the fact that it is an Arden conversion. I'm going to put some juice here. Okay. Well, this ain't going to work. Uh, Bob, you need to, if you, you come around on this side. This side? Yeah, and. Uh, let me just see something here. When you hear the okay. pop, yeah. all right. And then the next is start. Right. That's off. Right. Accessory. Right. Off. Run. Right. And, and start. start. Yeah. So I'm going to man the carburetor and have you hit it for starters. Let me get a. And that spring loaded, it'll, it'll come back, right? Well, you got to release it, yeah. Yeah. Let me get a towel in case we have a catastrophic fire here, which we shouldn't. Everything should be all go. Okie dokie. You ready? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let it, just turn it on and let it pump. Okay. Okay, start it. What'd you do? Turn it off? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, hit it. Now, oh, 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 oh. I want you to observe Gages. the oil, oil pressure. pressure. I don't care about anything but oil pressure. Yeah, got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Try and start it. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Why are we not getting fuel? Okay, try it. Try it. Hold on. Something is, uh, hmm. Hmm. Let me get my meter. My meter. My meter. All right, we are there. We are volts. We need ohmies. All right. Let me, oops, no, I want volts. All right. How about, <clears throat> don't start it, but just turn the key on. Don't start it, don't start it. Yeah. He's on, Christopher. Huh. 
the hell? I don't have no juice. I ain't got no, I got two volts. That's the negative side. doing that all right now we've still got pressure I got three and a half pounds but I'm not seeing what I'd like to see in here what the hell all right let's try it Okay, now let's check our fluid in our transmission. Ho, 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 ho. What? What? We're getting a leak here. A leak where? Uh, out of the steering column, believe it or not. No, no, it's not out of the steering column. Ain't no oil in the steering column. Yeah, well, it's coming out of it, buddy. It's not coming out of the steering column. It's got to be dripping down on the column. Yes, yeah. what I can see is. And it's probably the oil line that I laid in bed this morning thinking about oh, it is I meant to do that I didn't write it down I didn't write it down I didn't tighten that damn line up I didn't tighten the freaking line up I gotta raise the car. I talked to myself, I said write it down. So while I'm in the dark, I'm writing in the dark. All right, we're, we're good. It's cleaner. It did look like it was coming out of the steering column. No, b there ain't no oil in the steering column. Kind of, what kind of nutcase are you? hybrid it's the oil driven steering pump yeah yeah really <laughs> yeah all right let's see uh, okay are you good on the, what's this right here that's just I know it's no big deal we I know. One of those. do we need to replace that oil uh, no. No. You caught it in time. <laughs> Coming out of the steering column. <laughs> Damn sure looked like it was today. Well, it's right over the steering yeah. column. I mean, we're... <laughs> well, I can see it was here dripping. <laughs> oh, Lord. If we didn't have a little levity, that would be no fun. How was that startup? Perfect. So far, <laughs> steering column leak oil, but we found out what that problem was. <laughs> Let's try now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let it back down a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Kind of good. We got two. Yeah, it does. Uh, we got another drip. Where's that coming from? Is that coming from? Jim, that may have just ran down the steering column. <laughs> it 
and come out on the other side of the firewall. That may be what that double drip is. This was through the floor, and the other stuff may have just run down the column because it was coming off of that line, hitting the column, going around it, and some of it may have run forward. Okay. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I'm just making sure because we got a nest of oil right here. Oh, you know, well, no, 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 not wet, but we got a nest of lines. Oh, lines, yeah, yeah. You know, we got yeah. our... Right, for that oil gauge. Yeah. Well, that and then also the... Uh... The uh, oil pressure gauge and then the in and out on the, uh, on the uh, filter. Well, if, this, if it's hard to steer, you may need to replace that oil. <laughs> yeah. Well, you keep an eye on the dipstick on the oil. Oh, we need to put oil on the transmission. Transmission plug? Yeah, let's, uh, let me let it down. By the way, this checks the oil and the transmission from two blocks away. You notice how long this thing is? All right, it does. We do. We are. All, we're not even up on here. Yeah, and then there's the one quart there. And then one there. Yeah. That'll make. And we're eight in now. Yeah. That'll make eleven quarts. I got a feeling. I got a feeling it's going to take all that. But for right now, if it's, we ought to be okay. All right. Yeah. Remember last time we draped the towel across that? Yeah. Frame? Uh, hang on. I gotta go wash towels today. Where do you want the towel? I'm sorry. We, we, last time I thought we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. One over the frame. No, no, we did this. We did this. I can, I can raise that if you if yeah, you yeah if you could raise it about a foot. You sure? Right. All right, now watch yourself now. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. That should be good. You good? I'll get the pump. You hand, handle this line. You ready? Yeah. Jim, what are you using for uh, pumping the transmission fluid in there? Well, we're using a high performance uh, fuel pump. And uh, we didn't fill the converter when we put the engine and transmission together. And we put a heavy duty deep three, extra three quart pan on it. And that being said, we have put eight quarts in and we've got to add probably another five. I think 13 is going to be the target, but right now we're going to add two, and then we'll fire it up again. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. Okay, it's drawn. Can you see it going down? Yeah. yeah I sure can. We did about a quarter of a quart. So, so anyway, we got to fill the converter. We fired it off, let it run a few seconds, and then that helps fill the converter. Obviously, you don't want to run it low. It'll kill the converter without having the oil in it. Not quite half a quart yet. So we're adding a couple of quarts over the eight we have in it. And we'll fire it again, and we'll check it. When we checked it a minute ago, it didn't have any any indication on the stick. In fact, you know what? Let that run down and let's put three quarts in there. Okay. Because uh, eight and three and eleven. Yep. Eleven is about stock. Plus we've got that larger larger uh, oil 
pan on it. Not quite one. That's good though, the way that works. So to get it in there, you have to, it'd take you three days if you poured it by hand. And Bob came up with the idea of using the fuel pump and our auxiliary battery. Can you kill it for a second? Huh? Can you kill it? I just gotta change my grip for the okay. hose here. You all right? Yeah, I, that thumb just doesn't work real well. <laughs> I've never worn out a bone in that hand. Is that, is, what, what happened? You got We're good. steering fluid oil on it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You ready? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't lubed enough. Yeah. You're, you're Go ready. Ahead. We're good. So anyway, this fuel pump process works really good because you can put a little line down in the filler and not be trying to pour. Goodness knows how long it would take to fill it if we were doing it by pouring it out of the can. We a little bit over one, almost one and a half now but we need to run it more because the converter may not have completely filled we didn't we didn't run it very long oh shucks does that mean we have to crank it up again yep we're going to crank that puppy up can we check the steering dips there well hey uh, over there by the door yeah. is a dipstick for blinker fluid. If yeah. you would check that out. Next to that one? Right next to the steering one? Yeah. All Maybe right. I don't have the cobra. Maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let it down, Bob. Yeah. You're out of the way? Yeah. Sure, she's not on the ground. And you had about 38 psi of oil pressure. You went over 40. No, it would have. Oh, really? Is that all? Yeah. Well, let's let it warm up because I thought I'll have to go back look at it. I I don't know whether it was 40 or 60 we had mm -hmm. on the dyno. Well, it may have been because it didn't have that. We were leaking that we. Didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that could have been part that, of it. That, yeah, 40, yeah. It was just under 40. I was surprised that the water temperature came up as it, quickly as it did. Oh, it did? Yeah. I mean, you were registering water temperature almost immediately. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay, you ready? Yeah, that surprised me. Okay. Fire it. Oh, 
right? It, it's a, it's, and I mean, it went right up to, to well, there's something wrong with it. Then. It shouldn't go right up. Never go right up. That means there's a short or something. That's what I think is something in the gauge. But it ran, it ran up around 210, pause there for a second, and went to 240. Well, I mean, the fact that it ran as fast as it did. That's uh, a, yeah, that, that, that means there's something wrong. I might have it to the, hooked up the wrong way to that oil leak to the steering the column. Steering yeah, and pumping it up. You got a pressure gauge in there? No, I'm only 90, yeah. 90 to 100 degrees. All right, let's fire this puppy off again. Are you getting any noise? Oh, yeah. This is the garage volume. But that's going to sound really good. And then this is going to much. We got three. All right, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Just turn your pump on. Don't start it. Just turn it on. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Put it out. I'm putting 
about 14 and a half. It's zero. doing so we got it started up and um it sounded good what are what are some things that you really oh well really liked about the startup well she fired off after a couple squirts of fuel and boy does she sound good and we have proven a couple of things that we have done in the system we got this flex fan which is mounted designed and mounted differently and it is really pulling the air through the radiator and boy that's a that's a savior that that's doing that the carburetors are pretty doggone well tuned we had a little oil leak due to my failure to t 
tighten up the oil line to the gauge. We got that resolved and otherwise temperature right now with the fan it's running about 145 uh, in this weather. Of course it's cool today, unusually so, but uh, otherwise good oil pressure and the real downside is the freaking gauges don't work. The fuel level gauge is something fishy with it. Voltmeter is an easy one and uh, if we can get our water temperature to register properly. I've been shooting it with a digital gun to be sure we're not overheating it. But the water temperature also isn't isn't uh, working properly. So a couple small teething things, but you know, we're we're on top of it. And Bob, he's he's been a hand holder and putting this thing together. He likes to talk about how many things we take off. His he gets home in the evening and his wife says, okay, what's the scorecard? How many did you take off? How many did you put on? But no, it's, it's really a please, 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 please. And uh, it's running well, running as good as it did on the dyno and got different headers on it. We got uh, Tri-Y headers that I designed up and had this guy build for me. And uh, on, the, on the dyno, we just had uh, four into one. This one we have two into one, two into one, and two into the he the uh, exhaust collector. Fuel pressure is fine, three and a half psi, which is about right for a Stromberg. And uh, transmission fluids up. Need to check it, but we had it up here a few minutes ago. Otherwise, we're we're all systems go. next on the list? Uh, right now we're going to raise it, put mufflers on it and see what it's and start it and see what it sounds like. And then after that, oh yeah, then after that we're going to start putting this puppy together for the, time. for the hot, yes, <laughs> yes sir. Miller time. I think we got Corona, but we'll work on Miller. We'll put <laughs> it, we'll, re, we'll we relabel. Yeah, no, really. All right, let me raise this puppy and see if we can slide two mufflers on. Well, I don't know how to do it unless I put a clamp and run a piece of wire. I don't want to tighten these down yet. Okay. I've got actually, I've got flanges. Yeah, I, I know. It's so much more fun taking them off. Of yeah, really. Got that right. I think. fall right off and that doesn't fit well like the other one two and a half by two and a quarter if it's a different size because different color two and a half yeah there you go. Here's another red yeah, one. Yeah, I think that's the one we need. So I imagine those things are color coded. Let me let me pull it off. Freaking 
things are heavy. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, I would like to wrap this frame. <clears throat> We're not going to let it all the way down, but I want to hold on to that. Don't let that go back in there. Yep. Yes. I'm not long enough. Yeah. I think we're going to be disappointed. It's not going to sound as good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those damn mufflers. I know. You know, back in the day when I was cavorting around and in Washington DC on my motorcycle the police the police were always chasing you down and checking for exhaust noise and the test was the test was they took their billy club and shoved it up your your exhaust pipe and that was the that was the test. Let's see. That must have hurt. Yeah. 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 Really. Okay. Yeah. I guess you have to get a friend and just weld a little plate in there so it's like, oh, okay. Well, what we did was we made them a removable baffle that was on a long bolt, a piece of ready rod, and you could undo it and pull it out. And uh, But they caught on to that. Then they would bend over with their flashlight. Okay. All right, let me have a, another piece. Where's the... Oh, it's right here, here. Yep. Tension this up. Okay. 
push that back up there, let it come down. I'm going there we go. Good. Then I gotta go shooting off the end. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Okay. <laughs> okay, Junior. We're gonna let her down. Okay, this will be an interesting, huh? this will be an interesting. You go, oh, did you get any back there to begin with? Oh, he got the whole garage. Did it? Everything clear over there, Bob? Yeah, I don't see anything. I'm really excited to hear this. We need to put another blanket over a towel over here on the door. It starts uh, vibrating. Oh, here we got this little towel here. Is it hitting? No. Oh, all right. Well, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Hang on, no, I gotta get something. That damn linkage is hot. Let me get a Let me fix your mic real quick. Let me get a towel. Let me get this. This my Damn. Okay. Not much. Front. Let me get the huh? Let me get the yeah. No, the, yeah. Yep. Ah, damn it. I'm not sure if she'll mind the drone. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you going to be able to differentiate between with and without? See, I, I'd love to send. I would love to send this to Don, and because all we heard it was without mufflers right. and different headers. You want to row it? I know, I know. You're gonna have to open it up. I don't know where in the heck we're gonna put them. Yeah, you got <laughs> you gotta have those. I know.
Very pleased. Very pleased. Whew. Year and four months. Year and four months. God. Look at all those washers on the ground now. <laughs> Well, we don't. All those quarter inch washers. Were hey, you can tell Sarah we don't have to take them off. <laughs> they just fell out. Oh, yeah. They just fell off. That's cool. I'll tell you what. Let's check this. <coughs> check this oil. I think we need some. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just barely touching the end of it. Yeah, right there. Let's um, let's put at least another. What do we got now? Twelve quarts, eight and four is twelve. Uh, or no, did we did put we, we, or eight, eight, eight and three? We have eleven. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, eight and three. If we put the rest of this one, in, we'll have just under. Well, let me get this one. We'll. That's eleven. Yeah, we need two quarts. Two more? Yeah. Okay, we're uh, adding two more quarts to the transmission. Right now we're at 11. And the numbers should tell us we're going to be 13 or 14. So we're going to do that, top it off, fire it one more time, see what the level is, and uh, we're going to call it a day. This has been a, a monumental achievement where we are right now to... Uh, be able to fire it up. All systems are go. A few little miladies with some gauges, but otherwise we're great. Fan works perfectly. I was worried about that, but boy, it's sucking air through that radiator perfectly. And uh, we'll start putting her together for the final get-go. We've got to bleed the brakes and put the upholstery in it, and we'll be pretty close.